the barn. The autumn weather on the Saunders farm was cool and peaceful. The hayfields swaying in golden waves like the ocean. Young Millie, the eight-year-old daughter of Mrs. and Mr. Saunders, ran through the fields in her pretty lilac dress, the white bow that was wrapped around her waist carrying the dust of the bloom and timothy. Neither parent knew where their little girl had run off to, but they suspected she was only going to play. As Millie raced through the field, an old and decaying structure appeared amongst a cluster of trees to her right. Without missing a beat, she switched directions and took off in her good white shoes toward the forgotten barn. The exterior was gray, metal shingles thrown around, building as if they were purposely ripped from the arched roof. A hole sat where the door should have been, and inside sat mounds and mounds of hay. Not the least bit daunted by the exterior, Millie stepped inside. Her head tipped back, her doll-like face aimed towards the ceiling with her short, strawberry blonde hair hanging down in a waterfall behind her, and she gazed around herself in wonder. The sunlight glowed through the cracks in the walls like beams, illuminating the exterior in a heavenly sheen. With a smile and a small giggle of glee, Millie jumped into the pile of hay on her left. Dust flew up around her, causing her to sneeze, but this didn't end her fun. Instead of leaving, Millie turned onto her hands and feet and climbed up the hay mound. Sure, the old hay had a musty smell from where the rainwater had seeped through the ceiling and wetted the straw below, and the sharp ends of the yellow straws picked at her delicate skin, but nothing seemed to deter young Millie from claiming the abandoned barn as her own. Besides, every child wished to have a playhouse, and now Millie had her own secret place. Millie, a distant voice called some time later. The air had begun to cool at some point, and the once peaceful sunshine had disappeared, only to let the shadows come out to play. Millie sat with her eyes roaming the darkening barn, afraid of what might be lurking in the shadows. Another echoing call, this one closer than the last, but Millie dared not to move. Her skin broke out into goosebumps as a chilling breeze swept through the crumbling structure, stirring up the dust in his wake. She sneezed and scratched at her arms that were now feeling itchy from the, all the hay. Just as the last rays of sunlight disappeared behind the horizon, a beam of white light blinded her. Millie! It was her mother's voice. Mama! Millie cried, flinging herself in the direction of the voice. Two warm arms wrapped around her and hoisted her into an equally as warm chest. Mrs. Saunders carried her young daughter back to their house, her husband carrying the flashlight in one hand while he kept his other arm firmly around her shoulders. The warmth of the family farmhouse was what they anticipated as they took their daughter home. The thought of hot chocolate and a crackling fireplace pleasurable to their minds. The barn was forgotten, abandoned once more, and Mr. Saunders vowed to tear the structure down as soon as possible. The only reminder that it was once there would be the memories Millie would have of playing in her secret place and having her parents save her from the slithering shadows.